What's up guys, James here from Boot Wizard Boot Reviews and today I am here to prove that I am a man of the people. So I'm actually here to give you guys what you asked for. A boot wizard, I'm always trying to do things a little bit differently. I'm trying to be completely transparent with you guys. I'm trying to interact with you as much as possible. I'm trying to give you exactly what you want. Now, I put up my full tech spec review of the Nike Mercurial Vapor 13, and it ran about 19 minutes. The feedback that you guys gave me on that is that it was simply too long. You wanted a shorter, more abridged version of that review. Today, I give you that shorter, abridged version of that review. So as before, we kick off with the upper. So the upper is the most important, most revolutionary part of this boot. So the boot itself is still a knit upper, exactly the same as you would have got on the Vapor 12. The difference being this is now a boot made from two different types of fly knit yarn. One is a super soft, super flexible version of fly knit. And that is gonna give you this super brilliant, soft, flexible upper. It's very soft out of the box, much softer than you would have got on the Vapor 12. The other is being called high tenacity yarn, or as Boot Wizard likes to refer to it, Roy Keen yarn. This is the yarn that holds everything together and gives it the structure. It's all well and good having a really soft upper that gives you a really nice touch on the ball, but without the responsiveness, without the structure, it's no good because this is a football boot. It's not a pair of running shoes. It's designed to do all things in all directions. You need structure and that's what that high tenacity yarn does. Normally this is provided by an internal liner or some kind of top coating. By weaving the two types of yarn together to give you this upper, what Nike have done is given you a really thin, ultimately barefoot sensation that literally feels like a pair of socks on your feet. I can't describe quite how much like a pair of socks and how good this material, this woven combination is to provide you with such a custom, responsive, tight fit from a pair of football boots. I don't know if you've worked it out, but I really like the upper on these football boots. Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt your regularly scheduled Boot Wizard programming to bring you breaking news. Boot Wizard Boot Reviews have announced a brand new giveaway in collaboration with Steps Grip Socks via their Instagram page. We urge you to pause this video, head over to the Boot Wizard Instagram at Boot Wizard James and enter the giveaway by checking out the instructions on the profile. That is all for today's Boot Wizard breaking news. We now take you back to your regularly scheduled programming. So that upper is also what provides the texture. So this knitted pattern that runs all the way around the boot is actually what gives the boot its touch on the ball, its feeling, its extra grip. It's not a slick upper. It really does provide you with a nice amount of extra touch on the ball. It's not incredible, it's not revolutionary, but the fact that it's built into the upper and that they haven't added silicone speed ribs like they did on the Vapor 12 really does give you a seamless, really in uninterrupted touch on the ball. It really does make it feel barefoot. The coating to that is Nike skin and it is the thinnest layer of Nike skin that has ever been applied to a pair of football boots and it's just a protective coating and in this instance provides you with this rather nice silver top coat finish. It doesn't interfere with the boots, it gives Nike a means to add ACC, overall top notch. Outsole, this is an area where we can certainly look at small changes making a big difference. So it is still the Nike 360 degree wrap 
and a split outsole. So it looks incredibly similar to what you'd have got on the Vapor 12. The main differences you will notice are this cutout here, which is basically for looks and a tiny bit of weight saving, and also this red spine that runs here. Now it looks like the standard Vapor 12 sole plate with a red spine added for the sake of looks. This is not true. This spine is the Aerotrack spine. So what this means is that as you push off and you apply more and more tension to the toe area, this basically gets stiffer and stiffer to provide you with the maximum amount of spring back and energy return that it can. And it's fantastic. It's a very small change to what was already a very good upper that really does stiffen it up a little bit and provide it with an even more aggressive feel. This was already, in my view, the most aggressive outsole on the market, and they just made it more aggressive. The stud shape and the stud pattern remains exactly the same with the chevron bladed studs. Again, most aggressive on the market in my opinion. If you're looking for aggressive traction, that's what you want. There is no beating this. But the difference this time around is that they have extended all of the studs by one millimeter. Now, I don't know if it's just my eyes or it's a placebo effect, but I feel like you can see it. So it's been put there to increase durability and to increase traction. So obviously you do get a little bit of extra bite in the turf. Again, possibly placebo effect, but I feel like when you wear this, you can feel it and it really does a good job of giving you even more aggressive traction. I can't express how good this is at giving you aggressive straight line speed. So let's talk value for money on a top end Nike Mercurial speed boot. There's not really much to be said about the price. It's 250 euro for a standard variation of this. It's 275 euro for this signature Neymar colorway. It's just expensive. Like, I would probably, right now, at this point in the video, go as far to say that technically and from objective performance characteristics, this is the best boot on the market right now. It's still 250 euro though, and that's still a mad amount of money. So I can't call it good value for money. Um, at the moment, you can go out and pick up a Vapor 12 Elite for around 100 to 120 pounds, which is really good value for money. If you do own Vapor 12s, should you buy 12 or 13? If money's no object, 100% 13, it really is that much better. 250 euro is pricey, very pricey. Comparing it to the competition, it is cheaper than the Superfly 7 Elite, which is exactly the same boot with the collar. So if you want real bad value for money, buy the Superfly. This is much better than that. It's better than the Adidas X19 Plus, which is the laceless variation. Again, 280 euro. This is cheaper than that. And it's a little bit more expensive than the X19.1, which is its main competition. Really, the difference being 25 euro. It's just expensive, isn't it? So, so far, I think that Nike have absolutely knocked it out of the park with both the colorways and the silhouette of this boot. So this is obviously the Neymar Signature Collection boot, which is inspired by Formula One racing. So it's got all of the logos here, some in reference to Neymar himself, and some in reference to other Neymar Collection boots. I think it looks fantastic. I really like this boot. It's possibly my favorite looking Neymar boot ever. And it's definitely one of my favorite looking, if not my favorite looking, Vapor 13 Elite so far. The problem comes in the fact that this is a signature model and there's not really any story to it. Why do we have this Neymar signature boot? Apart from the fact that Nike have a new Vapor and they wanted to give Neymar a signature boot to sell. It's not really that impressive in terms of a story inspired by speed and by Formula One racing, apparently something that Neymar loves a lot. There's no story to it and that's something that we're going to cover in a future video because I think there's another company that are making Nike look like 
falls when it comes to signature releases. So remember to be subscribed to check that one out in the future. On feet, these look and feel amazing. The fit is incredibly tight. It wraps my foot and provides me with a real barefoot sensation. This is like wearing a pair of socks with a little bit of structure and a sole plate on the bottom. If you want barefoot, if you want sock-like sensation, this is the boot to go for bar none. The upper is soft enough out of the box, although it does soften in as you wear them, which is also really beneficial. The sizing on these is true to size in my view. I've gone for my regular size UK 8, which fits me perfectly. In terms of width, these are obviously narrow. They're designed to be low profile. They are narrower than what you would have got from the Vapor 12 Elite. If you do have a wide foot, I just simply do not recommend these. I don't want to put you off a boot, but if you've got wide feet, the Vapor Elite is not for you. Getting these boots on and off is not an issue. You do get this stretchy fly knit area in the middle, and then that central lacing system provides great lockdown across the whole of the midfoot, along with those two types of yarn to provide the lockdown and responsiveness, which are both amazing. So this boot is lightweight, it's super responsive, it's really tight wrap around your foot, giving you a barefoot sensation on the ball and has the best aggressive traction on the market. What more could you want from a speed boot? So I tend to shy away from making bold, grandiose statements on this channel, mainly because preference is king with football boots. What I love, somebody else might not love. So I try to give you objective information sprinkled with a little bit of my experience and my own personal opinion. Because for example, I might love a Vapor, but you might love a Copa Mondial. They're both great boots, just in different ways. Neither of us are actually wrong. But if we're just gonna talk about raw performance characteristics, nothing to do with preference, I am comfortable in saying that right now, I think the Vapor 13 Elite is the best football boot on the market. If you do want to hear me make some more grandiose statements, then do subscribe by clicking over here. If you do want to check out that full 19 minute review, get even more details, click over here or click one of my newer videos just down here. That's everything from Boot Wizard here today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Have a good one and I will see you very soon.